get your Baja Blast mount. mount. Hold, we, mount were, we were getting ready and talking about <laughs> what we're gonna what we're gonna do because we're, we're gonna do the do today, y'all. <laughs> we, we've been talking about taste testing Mountain Dew, and having Colton here on the very streams and podcast episodes. Yeah. We're gonna do it today, but you were ever. what were you talking? You were just like telling us about oh about uh, the Dew. Final Fantasy fourteen before the new expansion release is doing a Mountain Dew collaboration. <laughs> So if you drink Mountain Dew, you can get like in-game items or like a hoodie or like keycaps or uh, like stream decks. Uh, I heard this from Sabin, so okay. I don't know if this is a reputable source, but oh, I heard boy. that Magic is doing a Final Fantasy set. Is that true? Don't tell me that. I think I think it's happening because he was excited about it, and it sounded and uh, that other guy that we were playing with was also was also uh, talking Joseph? about it. So yeah, is yeah, it, yeah. Is it a Final Fantasy fourteen set or just like? Final I think it's just Final Fantasy. Know. Okay, so like Cloud and them probably. Yeah, but yeah. the no, I mean, all all I want to say is that they've in the past with all the universes beyond have been so good to the IPs, like really, really, really good. So there'll probably be some obscure shit in there. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Saban um, was Saban. Was, yeah, he was excited because he's named after a Final Fantasy character. Yes. He was like, what if my the character I'm named after it's is like a, a card. Fantasy, There's like a Saban card, yeah, or something, something yeah. like that. <laughs> That'd be cool. funny. So, um, yeah, that's 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 the recent news that I've heard about yeah. that. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. What it, what Mountain Dew are you most excited to try? I think I've tried most of them. Really? Yeah. All right. I but uh, I don't know. I mean, I always like Code Red. I've so never I actually just drink Code Red. I naturally. Not only do I not normally drink Mountain Dew, I I I, I don't think I've had Mountain Dew ever since last week when you guys got me that weird one during Strict <laughs> yeah. Haven. Is that in there? The it piss is. Mountain Dew. It is. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. But uh, um, but I don't. I think I've only had Code Red. I've maybe okay. tried a few, but I don't. I don't know if they remember them. Yeah. What they taste so like. there was a time where I drank a lot of it, and then like it's terrible for you. Like it's <laughs> probably the worst. Soda what did for we you. find out? It's like ninety percent of your daily sugar. No, it, I think the that one was... that you guys got for him on Saturday right. or Friday had like seventy three grams of yeah. sugar in it. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. like it's it's like terrible. So for a while I didn't drink it, yeah. and now like I've, I've just started drinking it again. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, but. You, you know, after today, we'll revisit that. You, you excited to mount up that dew? This one is 77 well, I am. grams of sugar. I'm actually looking up other ones. Really? What's, what's that percentage? I can't remember the 154. one. 154. <laughs> oh, God. What is that? That one, one bottle? Do you, uh, what's the white one, Colton? The what? What's the white one? Oh jeez! No, white out. White out. Yeah. White out. I don't know if that's, I don't I don't think think that's that, here, but I don't think not. that one even has like an actual flavor. I think it's, it's like, like the mystery the flavor mystery from like yeah. the taffy yeah. thing. Like I was gonna see yeah, if I like could because I know like KFC has their own flavor that they have, and then KFC. Oh my god! Seventeen herbs and, and spices. Yeah. Mountain Dew flavor. No, Chicken flavor. It, it, <clears throat> and then I know a few restaurants that you can go to, or like fast food places have like a flavor specific oh, like how taco bell has have, baja right, blast right, it's like baja blast yeah i know no, kfc has one we did try chicken flavor soda though mountain dew sweet lightning is a peach and honey sweet flavored soda lightning. that's yeah. available exclusively at kfc restaurants it's peach and honey i, I was gonna good. i was gonna see about like door dashing a few places to get the sodas but it it was just gonna be like yeah, so that's how um, they could get really expensive yeah, really fast just to get a, a, a drink couple, a and couple then 20 ounce sodas yeah Okay, well, um, we're gonna be real gamers today. Have some try some Mountain Dews. Verification I, bottles. Exactly. Uh, we're not sponsored by Mountain Dew, obviously. No. Good God! <laughs> yeah. Wow. I hope you didn't I mean, assume that. Not sponsored by look, Mountain Dew. Hey, fucking, Mountain Dew, you want to get us the Arcane Arcade flavor? Yeah. It, do you want to be a sponsor on the Arcane Arcade? Summer <laughs> what if Olympics? we had like a like a fountain thing like right here? They're like look, we yeah. sent you one. Look, it didn't work out with Long John Silver. It, it didn't couldn't work out with it Mountain didn't. Dew. Look, Long John I will start a, a fucking competing war between the two for the Summer Olympics, but we're gonna do them all. They can be on our jerseys. That's what's, yeah, yeah, we can have fun sponsored jerseys That's for the right. Summer Olympics. Yeah. We've been talking about this Olympics. I don't know if you've heard about it. What? We really want to do a Summer Olympics with Arcane Arcade. Okay. Just to see who can like run the fastest. That sounds terrible. Like, it'll be it fun. sounds like it'll be great, but we're it's gonna like, throw javelins. Yeah, we're gonna be yeah, we'll throw we'll we'll javelins. javelins. Yeah. We'll have like team names. Is it called shock put? Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm down. And then uh, yeah, it'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it was probably really good. Long John Silver's didn't sponsor Arcane Arcade because I think it would have been the downfall of the channel. Yeah. But not in the way that you're thinking. Why? I would have rejected them. Ugh. And you all would have been so angry. <laughs> I would have been like, I would have been like, the truth is the game was rigged from the start. I rejected Long John Silver's. They reached out to me and all of you were like, 
No. Why? It'd be yeah. like when he admit, when he added variant encumbrance in the middle of a campaign. Yeah. Oh my god. And we all. <laughs> All right, let's start with. That one's really just... bad. We did. We almost. Revolted. Dude, I got put on blast. <laughs> we legit... Mid stream, <laughs> mid Curse of Strahd. You guys can go find. I don't remember what episode it is. I was like, oh yeah, we're playing with Verity Coverage. Everybody, went, what? And I was like, uh oh, I'm about to get ejected from my own DMC. Yeah, <laughs> it was a bad time. Oh, it was funny. I don't think it was bad. For it me. was just funny. I remember Ira just being like, oh, "I'm just gonna drop all this shit that I have now." Like Ira suddenly went, "Ow, my back!" It was, <laughs> it, was, it was like Skyrim when you were suddenly encumbered and you couldn't move anymore. Strata was like, "What are they doing now?" And then 100 cabbages fall out of Ira's inventory and roll down a hill. <laughs> all right, let's 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 hit this Mountain Dew. What's first? Just original, normal. regular Mountain Dew. Normal. All right. What Classes. exactly are we doing? We're just, we're just going through we're the, just the gambit? Ta- we're just tasting them. Are we just yeah. sipping and then question? Is that what Yeah, so a... let's do this. Why don't, why don't we take a little sip, we'll and then uh, we can do a little Good Mythical else? Morning. We'll steal from them, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll, we'll rate, rate them it. at the end, yeah. But we okay. won't do 1 to 100. We'll do 1 to 10, one because to 10. that's strange. Yeah. Um, that's so much do, Colton. All right, and then so I'll pass it to you. you. Do you know how much sugar is going to be in my body? Do I have to? I, now I have to drink the whole dew. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Colton's in charge of serving me dew. Uh, dude, did you it's just cheers? That you know what? All right, come on. All right. Uh, what are you looking for, Pepper? A pen or something. I feel like we're gonna have to keep track oh, of this somehow. Oh, a pen. there's a pencil. There's a pencil stuck in the I'll crack of the couch right there. I'll just use my notes app on my phone. Oh, yeah. Crack that's pencil. So are, you, are you good with keeping track of our scores? Oh, of course. Yeah, that, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna steal your. Your invitation paper. Oh, yeah. Just envelope. There you go. Envelope. There okay, you go. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Um, if you need to like move the keyboard or anything, go for it. <laughs> no, I'll be okay. Just a second. Okay, okay. Uh, let's hit this do. Uh, classic Mountain Dew. I gave you a cup, Pepper. No, 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 no. That's no. fine. You can. No, you get uh, to wait, do that. Wait, wait. But it's, that means. That, no, you get to do that. It's behind that, Jacob's that means, plethora. That, yes. That means that they're going to have. Yeah, that like, one's, I told that like, one's for you to get. They're going to have like nine half drink bottles of Mountain Dew. Yeah, be like, oh, great. These are all mine now. I said, yeah, yeah that's, uh, that was your reward. You get to drink straight I'll take out them all of them. home and. I probably shouldn't have poured that much. Okay, so I didn't know for a long time that Mountain Dew was like lemon lime flavor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I didn't know it was just like kind of like a dirty Sprite. That's a dirty, that's filthy little. Spray. That's kind of what that's it a good way to describe like, it. It's um, it's it's. Uh, it is I, just more sugary. It's right. Uh, it's weird. classic. It's it's it reminds classic. me of being a kid. Really? Yep. When when would you have this as a kid? <laughs> All the uh, fucking yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so yeah. glad. This yeah, is that where, did not. This is where Spencer and and my trash. This? Kids. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> like, don't give it to Colton. I don't want the rest of this. This is where our. Be like. It, that, it did you was, also just have dew in the fridge at all times, Craig? No. It was more no. of a thing at my dad's house. My dad, I think, was horribly addicted to Mountain Dew. This is this is. You know where, how uh, you can get you can get a twelve pack of Mountain Dew, and yeah. then you can get a twenty four, and then there's one that's like yeah. close to forty. Oh yeah, thirty yeah. six pack. Yeah, thirty six yeah. pack. My dad's like two of those. This reminds me of like this was like kids' birthday party, pizza party. That's where I got to have sex. Yeah. Normally where there, you. And then, I don't yeah. think there was ever a Mountain Dew in, in, my, in, in the house. And then I got into high school and I was like, this makes me feel really gross. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think growing up, um, the only time I ever had it was when we, it sounds really strange, but especially in Utah, it was when we were at the skate park. Yeah. Nice. Because one, caffeine, I mean, not that this is like a recent, well, I guess for them it was, but you weren't really allowed to have caffeine. In, right. Uh, if you were Mormon mm-hmm. for a mm-hmm. long time. And this is, mm-hmm. um, like it's pretty caffeinated. 91... <laughs> I think it's so. I, I think I think all the cool kids would go and having Mountain Dew. Like, Ooh! Um, <laughs> Open up my. But no, I think my, my house didn't Dew. have a lot of sos until my grandfather joined in, and I think he only was he was kind of cheapskate, so only got Shasta, Kirkland uh, yeah. Branch, Doctor whatever. Thunder. Doctor Thunder. Yeah, Doctor Thunder yeah. is everywhere. I, I that Mountain Dew did have the reputation growing up as like the cool soda. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was like, it well, was like, do you want like, a Sprite? Do you want a Coke? No, I've got Mountain Dew, and everybody's like, oh, "I mean, they had." Like, I think oh. the devil's in that. One. They had like the Halo Three collab yeah. too when Halo Three came. Yeah, out. it was cool. It, it was well, cool. At first, it shifted. At first, to me, it was like it was like it almost to me had like Monster Energy. Like it was that level of like, right. oh shit, that's they had Mountain cool commercials. Dew. Yeah, like yeah. oh damn. But then, but then it became gamer juice. It became mm-hmm. like. Dude, oh, I'm gonna play Call of Duty or Halo, and I got my Mountain Dew, and then it became Mountain Dew and Doritos. That was, yeah, and that now. Now, Hot I don't pockets. know what it is now. Now it's just kind of like another soda. I, I don't mean, think they still it's have anything. the gaming rewards. Yeah. So. 
All right, still gamers. gamers. Yeah. Gamers yeah. Too, I guess. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. I, also think, I also think they added Hot Pockets to that list. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot, Pockets, Hot Pockets, Mountain Dew, and Doritos. I also feel like this episode is really going to put Spencer and I on blast for, for like, our childhood. Yeah. I don't think. No, no, no. Instantly, we're like, yeah, yeah. we always had some. You don't understand, Colton. I've been getting put on blast <laughs> oh, really? for being fucking Ivory Tower Jacob over <laughs> yeah. here who didn't. We who, only shopped at Trader Joe's. Yeah, only Trader Joe's. Joe's. I've Shepard. never even seen a ding dong. <laughs> What's a ding dong? I, I a just, Twinkie. I will never forget the day that Jacob, when I still lived with you guys, when Jacob was like, what are we, what are we getting for dinner tonight? And Spencer and I were like, I don't know, we get Taco Bell. And Jacob was like, we've had it three times this week. And we're like, yeah, Yeah. Jacob, that's how we were raised. We had it twice, yes. What about a third time? (laughs) Taco Bell. It was was like living with fucking Mary and Pippin. (laughs) Couldn't get over that goddamn Taco Bell. He never heard of the Taco Bell, Spencer. What about a third Mexican pizza? And then the... the Oh, the Mexican pizza. going? Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Do we rate this? Oh, no, 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 no. Are we waiting until the end? No, let's rate it now. I okay. give that a. I give us. I give us seven. It's like a seven, yeah. Uh, What's my scale scale here? All drinks or all Mountain Dews? All Mountain Dews. I guess uh, it's hard. Like you almost have to give it a five. No, in its own, in its own. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not it's Mountain Dews. Thing. We're not. Yeah. Co- yeah well, you- as Mountain Dew goes, it's the most Mountain Dew. So I gotta give it. <laughs> it does contain the most Dew. All Honestly, right. it was. It was actually pretty this good. This is Diet Mountain Dew. Can I, I'm gonna give it a nine because okay. I'm comparing to Mountain Dews. Yeah. If it was drinks, it'd be like a four, three or four or something. All right, I'm gonna give, we'll just put the, put the lid I, on. I, I do. I do think I like it because it is kind of. I like the the, the expression of a dirty, like a dirty Sierra Mist Sprite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so I do think because I'm not. I, I'm more of a clear soda kind of drinker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think it's it's probably something similar. So I'm gonna give it like a seven and a half. Mm. You know, that's what Diet Mountain Dew tastes, tastes like. Tastes like huh? Windex. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it tastes the, like crows flying into my back window. Like, it tastes like Mountain Dew, <laughs> but if you you put some some chemical something else in it, something bad in there. Oh, so, so yeah, it, it kind of feels like Mountain Dew I left in the sun. Yeah, it's like sun tea, but Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's not the Windex. Color is faded. Like Lysol, like something. <laughs> Something I keep pouring too much. It's Please. sweeter, cleaner. It weirdly tastes sweeter. The the dew flavor that like that like what does that even that, mean? The dirty flavor of a Mountain mm. Dew is is hidden. Like it's not here anymore. It's instead you've you've got that fake sweet it's flavor. Got Splenda. It's yeah, just, really. Uh, Splenda. I, normally the diet too flavors, much I don't mind as much because they're not they're not as bad. But mm-hmm. this one, it's the dew flavor is very gone. I'm it's gonna go ahead and get that's from that's from yesterday. It's not okay. that bad. Oh, you're making oh. a king's cup. That I'm okay? So king's there is a mug cup. over there of coffee that I made yesterday, and uh, Craig, I pour you too just much. poured Mountain Dew in there. Cup? You never played king's cup. What is that? That's when you it's pour like all game. of the leftover drinks you're not drinking into one mm. cup, and then you drink it at the end. That is well. Oh, no. It's also no, a, normally you lose a bet. Like, it, no, it's you a, a bet. Course, and you, course, you have to drink. It's it. also a drinking game. Like, all right, I don't want it any more of this. Is that what happened to Sari? You want that? No, no, Sari did that of her. Her of her own. I'm sorry. I I don't know if I got you here. This thing on the original do seven. Seven. Yeah. I'm gonna give. I also give the original do a seven. I'm gonna give that one a a four. (laughs) I also agree. It's slightly below average. It's a four. You know, I I think I can fuck with that. I'm not. I know we can go so much lower. This this (laughs) is a this is a six. A six. That's a six. I oh, gave okay, sorry, origi- you're, you're... my scale is original Mountain Dew is a nine. I didn't ask any question in between. What? No, we'll, 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 just, we'll, get... we'll, just, we'll just. Am I? Am I? Am I oh. asking? No, I can do it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you um, are a guest. You relax. Yeah, exactly. And I'll start exactly. up. Start us up on Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Thy Sponge Fifty Five says hi, do? Arcane Arcade well, Crew and Mega Mind Colton in the image today. <laughs> question: What is the most <laughs> touching slash important moment in recent memory that has come out of your? Of playing or DMing a TTRPG to you. I've recently had a heroic sacrifice character death stun the entire table and it was amazing. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that smells like a fart. <laughs> Spencer, we're talking about touching, sweet, moments. touching moments. You're talking about farts, you're, my you're guy. You're talking about Mountain Dew fart? <laughs> oh, it's the zero sugar version. <laughs> oh. It's just other diet it, Mountain it, it's, Dew. It's diet oh. Mountain Dew with more chemical taste. It has taste. more caffeine <laughs> in it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's how they got yeah, it. I, I came here with some sugar. big old eye bags today. I'm oh, going to leave how much fucking geek. caffeine geeked. is in this? That one says 113. Oh my god. I think, I think than, original is 91. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, They're all atomic green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. I think, They're radioactive. I think the most recent one is uh, the Che and 
uh, Ronan. Oh, easily. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. There's yeah. a moment in a recent Strixhaven episode where Shay, where Ronan talks, uh, brings up that he's buying a house and for for in 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 Arcavios and mm-hmm. he wants to move in like with Shay and it's mm-hmm. a very it was such such a amazingly role played moment like the two of you just knew exactly what you wanted to say. You both said it was so romantic. It was so sweet. It was. It was the culmination, the climax, I feel like, of those two characters and their personalities. And it was just very cool. It was a very cool story. It was okay. probably one of the best RP romance moments I think I've ever seen on the channel. It was uh, Thank amazing. Thank you. Very sweet. Amazing. That was Spencer and Jack, right? Spencer and yes. Jack, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I Which think... Uh, Powerhouses. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't actually have... I might have to go look at that just, yeah. just to see. Dude, it was in amazing. Two um, episodes ago? Man, I don't know. Like... One second. I, I mean, I let me really, think. Let, yeah, smell it. Yeah. Smell it first, think? though. You, you, you Ooh. Little, swirl it in the glass. It smells. That like smells a, like Windex. It smells, oh. it smells like an energy drink. No, it doesn't. You're That's, right. It does smell like Windex. Why does it smell like? It smells like cleaning supplies. It does taste better than the other one. It does taste better it than, it than, it than the other one. Because yeah. it doesn't have that I weird aftertaste. Completely disagree. The aftertaste is so much worse than this one. Okay, so the Col- aftertaste so, is so, Col- so much right. worse. The aftertaste is like. You know those big oh, yeah. gummies? You know the oh. big gummy? Like that plasticky gummy yeah. flavor? That's yeah. what it tastes like. Like powder. So don't yeah, stick powdery, together. gummy. Yeah. Blah. This one's a three. There's a lot of... I'm going to give that a five. I'll also give it a five. The first, the initial taste was better. Mm-hmm. The first, When it hit my tongue, I was like, Mountain Dew. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go up one as well. So I'm going to go five. Um, I mean, I like the the bit with... Uh, with Anastasia and, and Cadman when we were With up the on the stars. Yeah, the stars. Yeah, that yeah. was amazing. I, I really liked that whole scene. I think yeah. for shocking moments, though, um, out out of the arcane arcade realm, there is a game that I'm in with Sari. The thing I was telling you about the Warhammer stuff. Oh yeah. And there's one that I'm in where I where I had played like just like a guardsman dude, just like a regular guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and that little RP thing with the people that we play with, we, they're very story focused, which I, I don't mind, but it also means that like when character deaths happen, it's usually because like the, the, the player has gone to the DM and been yeah. like, I'm ready for this character to die. Let's design a way for them to die within the story. Mm-hmm. And I'm very different in that way where whenever a combat kicks off, I message whoever the DM is in this case, Sari. And I'm like, just reminder, my character is on the table. Like if they should die, they should. And they died in that just like unceremoniously, just like an Astartes happened to be nearby, attacked, crit, and just like, boom, my guy's dead. Damn. And everyone, no one knew what to do because everyone was like, was that planned? And I was like, no. It was just, it's just the way that the dice fell. And they were like, how do we, like, what do we, and they just created a lot of opportunity that like I didn't. Like, like four seat. Yeah, well, That's yeah, because cool. they, they're they used to, oh, we know this character's end is coming. Yeah, of course. And we can plan, like, what the story is going to be after that. Right. And they, like, had yeah. to, like, oh, how would our characters, oh, this is weird. Yeah, yeah. So, and they're all they're all great at role play, but it's just a different yeah. world stepping into um, with me and my infamous character survival rates. Yeah. So, there yeah. was a monologue that you did at the end of one of the Spelljammer games that I still think about, which is that bit when you were talking about really the the theme of the red line and you were going through a montage of our characters throughout mm-hmm. our lives and points that uh, it was it's like the everybody telling us that they wanted us to die or yeah. points that we could die or that message would come up and that was that I was stunned after that. Mm-hmm. I was like that was fucking cool. Mhm. Thank you. Uh, I'm very happy with that one. Um, there's, it's crazy because we're almost all here. Um, mm-hmm. But there's a, I don't know, third or fourth to last episode of Icewind Dale. Um, it's when I think we, are, I think we've defeated Oral at mm-hmm. that point. A lot of us are dead, um, and I think we're deciding. We're, si- we're deciding something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I think it's maybe the conversation is trying to determine if we tell calamity like what happened or whatever right. and there's like a wish on the table um and spencer uh, as kai says like a very cool like speech about like fuck that bitch the only person i care about is you if you get bopped i'll fucking whopper and yeah. i'll take this wish and we'll do that that's it's a very cool moment of mm-hmm. just like it's just very icewind deal group and i think it just mm-hmm. sums it up pretty well mm-hmm. That entire like, the whole world could fucking blow up, and we as long you as guys were together, it was matter. constantly just like ah, and here is this. We we extend our hand down to you to give you my power, and you guys are always like, 
Fuck you! Yeah. Like, yeah. That, great. That, that reminds me of my single favorite line in that entire game, too, which was when you guys were talking to Calamity, mm -hmm. and she was like, no, like, I, I want the wish for this, and, and I think Kazira was like, no, we're gonna go down there, and we're gonna make them, like, bring her back, and she was like, what if they don't do that? And it's like, they're all selfish, we can be selfish, too. Mm -hmm. That, that yeah. line. Mm -hmm. They were like, we're gonna go down there, and we'll kill all of them if yeah. they mm -hmm. say no, yeah. but, like, mm -hmm. we're gonna... I don't know where the, the term spawns from, or even who fucking said it, where it's the it's kind of the unofficial uh, like like slogan of the channel. The we lure you in with the ha-has and hit you with the depression. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I don't that was, know was where that, that spawns or where things it comes in, but I always think about Ice Deal being good. that like oh my goodness that that is like the most yeah. like yes. quintessential of that slogan yes. is Ice Deal. I agree. It's, I mean, it's really great to think about like peeping eyes right after Bladrus is killed. Yeah, like mm -hmm. minutes after, mm -hmm. and Peep we're on. just fucking. It's just a blast. But then we're we, we can. You can really see the tables arrange. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I, I was last to send. To this is, this is sorry. Can, this is Mountain Dew Baja Laguna I lemonade. I can smell this. From okay, here. yeah. So oh, this, this is the one. This is this is the piss one here. Friday, yeah. I can smell it from here. So this is this is the Mountain Dew that you guys got me last week as a joke, mm. which is kind of funny. And I already know what this tastes like, and it's ass. It so also doesn't smell good at it's all. A, it's like pineapple coconut or some kind, but it's Laguna Blast. Laguna lemonade. Oh, Baja uh, Laguna. This smells like an air lemonade. freshener. Yeah. <laughs> this is this smells like mm -hmm. a truck. Mm -hmm. This is it the smells thing. better than the zero. This is what I have my the, the truck smell like. Mm. It's like pina colada with like vanilla. <laughs> it does smell like. Oh, that's a lot. And of, also, it's a lot of bad faces. I'm seeing. Feels like you're drinking like a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I, it is. It's the same I color. So sweet. Like I'm their gonna... mango one. I'm going to say something oh, really probably unpopular. Oh, no, I think it's God. better than the zero sugar ones. Yes, it is better. I don't know if that means much. The flavor's better, but, but it's. I wouldn't drink it still. Yeah, no, I don't think I would either. No. It, that, that, little, that little uh, half of a shot worth of Mountain Dew was enough for me. No, at least the zero to me tasted like an energy drink. I got to give this a three. Oh, this is a three. three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm already feeling a little weird. Uh, I'll give that a... I'll give that a, a six. Yeah, can I have can I can we have like a little a little break in a little between? a little break from the we we did break from the ass. <laughs> you're, 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 you're a break from the ass. I'm giving this one a six. This one's good. A six. Okay. We have. Fridge make water. <laughs> Fridge does make water. I thought that's what he was gonna do, and then he didn't. He just got confused. Um, His brain's in one place and then another. Oh, here's one that I guess I can answer just while, sure. while Bob, Jacob's sure. doing what he's doing. Will I ever consider running another ga Post campaign away. on the channel since I was good in Witchlight? Thank you, Storm. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, maybe. Like, like they're, they're, you know, I don't want to peel back the curtain too much. because like we've said something. Nothing is set in stone, but there is, there is a non-zero chance that I will run another game at some point on the channel. I think at the end of Witchlight, I said I was never doing it again, and then <laughs> Jacob was like, but what if you did, maybe? And I was like, ah, You're maybe. You're so easy to convince. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I don't need a little, little pink cup. But yes, big, okay, big, yeah. big maybe. Um, it depends on, unfortunately, a lot of factors that are not uh, necessarily linked to my desire to do so, because I would no, love to. Yeah. But uh, my schedule is infamously terrible, yeah. so a, lo a lot of it, a lot of it, has to do with factors that are not necessarily in our control. We'll see so. what happens. It, it, it's right now. It's an idea. It's a nice idea. We'll see if it happens. Yeah. Was that Maybe. the question? The, the question was, will I ever run another game? Oh. Uh, so. Um. All right, gonna, I got. I, I got something. I got another. Oh. What do you got? What was oh. that? It's, it's a for fortune you. cookie. What yeah. is it? What in the fuck cookie. is it? They told me to give it to you. Who? Them? They. <laughs> it says Bazinga. <laughs> That's from uh, Storm. Oh. Wow. That was That's elaborate. clever. Did you read ahead? Cool. Did you just do that? Oh I did it God. while you were setting up. Oh, wow. That yeah. Is silly. Impressive. Wow, you did that well. Here, I'll hold yeah. that right here forever, Storm. Yeah. I'll look at it. <laughs> oh, fuck it. So, uh, Allie asks, Hi, I love how you've designed your Strixhaven spell slash ability learning system and have shamelessly adapted it for a campaign of my own. Hell yeah. My question is about the learning mechanics. If a player has chosen to play a uh, prepared caster like Cleric or Druid instead of spells known caster like Bard or Warlock, how do you have adapted their, their learn spells? Oh, how they learn spells because they're prep casters? I would... Oh, that's really interesting. I probably wouldn't... Hmm... 
Hmm. It, I would have gone to that player. So I'm thinking about the fact that, because what? Are you okay? Yeah, I've just got burnt. It's the dude. Oh. <laughs> you're the drinking, do, you're, the do you're, wants out. You're doing the do wants do. out. <laughs> Free the do, do jailbreak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you drink it, it explodes out of your esophagus. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's like acid. But if you swallow it, it explodes out your pee hole. Came and spit looks like dew. It, it does look like Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like Definitely like the zero one, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does... What? Anyways. Um, <laughs> zero soup. There was the thought that maybe Stella would have been a cleric. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, um, that, and that I sense. would have gone like, all right. I think I want to do a mixture of prep casting and non-prep casting. Mm-hmm. I probably would have talked with Mia and said something like, okay, what if we don't do prep casting, but I'll let you get more spells out of when you level up? And I would have done something like that. that or, or Or otherwise would have found a way to incorporate it, where it's like, you can use your classes to gain the spells, um, but maybe you can get like one or two for free, well, or you learn two spells out of it because you're a class that does get they, more. They could also be separate of the preparation altogether. Oh, it's so just like, not a prep so caster. Like if- I don't know what the number is, but like if as a cleric you get to prepare six spells, but you go to a class and learn Cure Wounds, Cure Wounds is always prepared like a class spell would be, mm. and then you still get the six other spells that you can prepare. You could do that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm not doing that because of how I do wizards. I'm still making them prep out of your spell books. Yeah. Um, but, right, but wizards have to learn the spells. So everybody it, does in the campaign. That's a little different. It, mm. it, it, it is. It is. Um, but I, I would have done something along the lines of that, but given them a little more because they're a cleric. That is the, you guys did not see the tiny amount that Pepper poured that, that, That's what that. I'm doing now. That's, that's, a, that's Look, a good that's amount. That's a lot, all right? That's, t- that's I'm going to start I, doing this. This is another one that I can smell from here. Yeah. Okay, this one's what? called Major Melon, and it has a watermelon <laughs> dressed like, like I a, assume, like a, a, a major, yeah. a part of a, some, some sort of Mountain Dew military. Oh my yeah. God. Oh, that's good, actually. That one's better. That one's that one, like that one's better. Strawberry Starburst. Why is it made yeah, melon? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it doesn't taste. That one's tolerable. I like that one. It smells like watermelon. It smells it's like lemonade. Tastes like yeah. Mm. It tastes. First of all, tastes nothing like Mountain Dew. No, there's zero Mountain it, Dew this flavor. This might be that. the thing that gets me to stop drinking Mountain Dew. Honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm already. <laughs> I'm, we still got four more flavors, yeah. and I feel it. It's saying, oh, it's <laughs> charged with watermelon. That's all I got for you. Okay. Well, Panera charges lemonade. Did you hear that they discontinued that? They did. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sh- what a shame. Um, two people died, and they finally decided to not do it anymore. Mm. The uh, the charged with lemonade. So like like charged with war crimes. Yeah. Because the major yeah. did some shit. Oh. Yeah. The major was. <laughs> yeah. Had some, backstory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backstory. Ma- major melon. Had Bad some, time. Yeah, did yeah, we yeah, rate yeah. the last one? Uh, yeah. Okay. We did. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to lose. I don't remember lose. what I said. Uh, I'll give lose that a, I'll give that a six. That 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 can that can live in the positives. I'll give it a um, six and a half. That that feels like it could be a good mixer. Yeah, oh, you know yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I'm give it. I, I'm a, I'm gonna give it an honorable discharge of seven. I'm sure. I'm sure that. I'm, sure I'm also gonna give it a seven. Idea. Put alcohol in Mountain Dew. Oh nothing yeah. Nothing could go. No wrong. nothing. No no nothing no. Could go wrong. <laughs> you won't be charged with who knows what. You won't it's be. Got, it's only you got won't the be puking the next day. Like, You'll yeah. be fine. Same amount of fine. caffeine as a uh, as a energy drink in some cases. Bro, there's yeah. worse things you can make. You, vodka Red Bull. Like have that, you ever had that? That's true. Four loco. A four. Four loco. Four loco. God damn. Um, do they even sell those anymore? They do. do. You buy them? They really? do still yeah. sell them, yeah. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Um, Tim Zeller mm. asked, if Mountain Dew was, a, was an in-world item, what would it do? <gasps> if it wow. was an in-world Good item. Like a, like, well, uh, let's say it's a, uh, <laughs> what? It's a do. Oh, did, 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 did it's Tim a not? item. Did him not spell it? D E W. Yeah, you did. That's what I was saying. Uh, 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 I was fine. Uh, I was like, "Good on you." That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah. That's why I enunciated it. Um, I think it could be used as like a medieval like fuel system. So like a, like power. Oh, like, like that's oil. that's like oil. Like, like, <laughs> Colton, yeah. whatever I would yeah. say is not nearly as funny as that. That is yeah. so fucking it's like that's so funny. That's I'm not even laughing. That's, like, that's what's that's powering the, beer bots. Yeah, this is the continuation of the freaking little frog people. This is the they Mountain their, Dew they their, Kingdom. They get their hands on Mountain Dew and they start powering the war machines with it. Oh, they that are. is so they're, cool. They're freaking Mad Max. 
They're banned. Oh, yeah. oh my god, it's like vehicles. Yeah. Holy, I was thinking like trebuchets. Oh no, no I was no, thinking no, are, yeah. are charged with code I red. Like this one, so I'm gonna god, on. pour myself a little. Yeah, this more one's code red. A, a little extra, a this little treat. Is... That much. That's fine. You, you'll like this one. The this is my favorite. Cabin. That's crazy. It, uh, but if it was in Fallout, it would be um, similar to Nuka Cola. But I think I would give it the. Um, it would be tasty. It would be caffeinated, which are two of the properties. But I think I would also give it. Let me think. May I? I'd give it a property oh, called uh, called Do the Do. Do okay. the Do, or something like that. It would yeah. be. It would be uh, mountain charged or something like that. Yeah. And it would be. It would give you uh, uh, on your next. You would you would gain temporary stamina points or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On a uh, on a less joking. Well, I mean, like, we're talking about Mountain Dew as an item, but mm-hmm. uh, it could be like a potion of speed if from Baldur's <laughs> Gate. It gives you haste for like two rounds. Two rounds. I think you need like a Red Bull for that. Yeah. All right. So we got Code Red. Yep. Code Red. This is apparently like the best one. This is my favorite. Yeah, because it smells like Red 40 maraschino cherries. And it tastes like it too. That is like a chunky cheese smells. (laughs) It's not as good as I remember. You're right. Did you know this is a really, really dumb. This one's not charged. It's a rush of cherry flavor. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh, just a rush? Yeah. (laughs) So did oh! you know that apparently... A rush of cherry! Did you know that apparently the Chuck E. Cheese in our town is, like, famous? Why? Oh. Because we're the one seven? of only five... <laughs> I, I, this, this, this video, this popped up in my YouTube recommendations. Yeah. I don't know why, but it did. We're, apparently we're one of only five Chuck E. Cheeses to still have the original set design. Oh. In the oh. world. I was going to say, <laughs> all of them are different now. Yeah. Ours is like the old one still. Oh. It's scary in The there. fucking animatronics are still in there? Yes. That's cool. They're not active, but they're still in there. The, yeah. I, I... You get a little quirky <laughs> at night. You get a little quirky at night. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I have a little bit of lore to drop for this one because, night because it's Code Red. Red. Uh-huh. Um, I know Colton loves Code Red, but I also just want to say that uh, I'm going to make a statement here right. okay. and pull, put Colton on blast a little bit. I think... If you had it with a jar of those maraschino cherries, yeah, mm-hmm. I think you could take the cherries out uh-huh. and give it to Colton, and he would drink it. It's very possible. Yeah, he nobody loves maraschino cherries more than Colton. Cherries are good, but the, but ones. the red forty ones, not the not the not the one, real ones. No, no, no these no. ones are grown in a factory. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and put in a code red. I, I, I like I like both. Both kinds are great for sure. Um, um, this one is pretty good, but yeah. I, I, I stink. I think I, I stink. you stink. <laughs> I think I, Ew. I think I like the melon what, what more. What is that? I was looking at the top one. What are you doing? It's a, it's a real video that exists. I don't know what this is. We gotta go. Oh. We should go sometime. Yeah. Like really how we went to Dave and Buster's. We should uh, yeah. go to Chuck E. Cheese. I think Dave and Buster's was a much better time. I, you don't, Chuck we don't know though. Have you been? In the I past think, 15 years? No. I think I about have. that spider stomping girl every day of my life. When did you go to chicken? I, I said I think about that spider stomping game every day of my life. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, my Isaiah's like twelfth birthday party. Uh-huh. You had so a like, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, Logan and I both went, and I remember going because I remember the TVs playing weird shit. If Logan was here, he would be like, "Oh my god, we still talk about this," because the TV was playing like parody ads that were kid versions of shows and one of them which we cannot get out of our head was one called open. like it was game of thrones but it was like game of playgrounds or something like that and the and the music in the background was like um it was, had to have been more than four years ago yeah some yeah but it was pretty recent it wasn't 10 okay it was recent like we were both and we both were there and we we're like what the fuck is this and th- i remember it playing like a hundred times while we were in there and uh-huh. it was there was a it was a music video like there was a song playing in the background and Th- this sounds like the kids bop parody of, the, of kendrick lamar's not like us oh yeah 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 i did hear about that that was that was a that was fan made but it, yeah. yeah it was fan made but it sounded like it could be real. Yeah. But I remember Logan and I being like, God, that song is stuck in my head because of that dumb game of playgrounds at fucking That's Chuck E. Cheese for Isaiah's birthday. Yeah. 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 That's actually where we're going for his birthday this year. Oh my God, really? All right. Yeah. For Isaiah's birthday? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anyways, On Saturday. I give Code Red a six. I give it an eight. It reminds me Did of I the movie. Did I give anything else a six? That one gets a nine. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry. Uh, eight. Nine, six, yes. You give diet six. <laughs> I'll give it seven. It reminds me of the movie Zombieland. 
because that movie was definitely sponsored by Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> is there Mountain Dew everywhere in Zombie Land? Uh, and at the start, he is drinking Mountain Dew Code Red when the zombie apocalypse starts. Does that ever work on you guys? Like when you're watching something. And oh, for sure. Ten year old me was like, I want Mountain Dew Code Red. It's in the zombie movie. It didn't start working on me. <laughs> We we need to unpack that. I think what? ten year old you watching Zombie Land. I think that's when it came. I think I was ten when that movie <laughs> Do we came. Do need out? to unpack that? That makes it's perfect sense for it, it does. What are you talking about? It does. No, but like it didn't start working on me until I was older. I the advertising like movies and stuff like that mm-hmm. did not work. But then as soon as I became an adult, sometimes yeah, when the, it's in the movie or it's in the TV show, I'm like, hmm, and I'm like, no. Um. Sister may have been ten. Actually, you may have actually. I was been, ten. You were ten. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> I was like, that. he's got Mountain Dew Code Red. Is that the movie with, um, what's his name? He plays uh, he plays Lex Luthor and yeah. also yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the show Social Network. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it also has Woody Harrelson in it. It does. It? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. wants Twinkies. Yeah. The only reason I remember his name, if I'm being completely honest, is because recently Sari wanted to rewatch the Hunger Games movies for some reason. <laughs> oh. And he plays Haymitch in those. Yeah. Yeah. Sari Woody constantly Harrelson feels like to best. me that like she just missed out on fandom and But she just didn't can't... but she didn't miss out on it. Like she she's she saw them, she read the books when they came out. Yeah. No, like... that's the thing. Is it's like <laughs> it, that's yeah. I know she didn't, but it feels like Sari missed out on fandom. And then is catching up now. She's like, she's into Game of Thrones now. I'm like, I'm sorry, was she just not there for when it happened? Sari is just yoked Katniss Everdeen. Yep. She is. So she I is. forgot about this one. Horse riding. Thank God she won't be in the Olympics. Uh, yeah, th- oh. yeah, thank God wait, she won't wait, be here. When we, we, we get mobbed I could, hard. I could, oh, yeah, we I get could, fucked I could up. talk to her. I'm not telling you. Down I'm not telling you. So but I'm participating. The, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Day of. Like, day of. But you know how my schedule is. You gotta give me three month notice. I'll get Grace's mom and I'll, I'll get you. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll talk about people. Talk to your people. We'll figure it out. That's. I don't need to be so outdone strange. by Sari like that. All right. This one's called Mountain Dew Spark. Like all of Spark. 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 The all Spark. Uh, yeah. No, it's 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 the uh, it's, it's Planeswalker Spark. It's raspberry lemonade, and it's pink. Raspberry lemonade. This either is um, going to be really, really bad or really, really good. This is the only one I couldn't get in the little... In a bottle? In a bottle. I had to buy 12 of them. So if anyone, oh. if you guys like it, you can, uh, you you can, can take a few it. home. This smells terrible. It, yeah. It's not. This also oh. smells like that gummy flavor oh again. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We, we also oh, didn't God, answer a question. The can's pretty. What question? <laughs> I don't know. That, did, that's my thing. We oh, didn't I, answer I asked a question, yeah, we were just, why I was asking uh, about marketing. I'll find one. Um... Uh, this can's gonna be a hazard. That is extremely lemony. Whoa, it's a very, very. I lemony. don't know if this was supposed to happen, but when I drink it, I felt it right here. <laughs> Golden, felt you it felt it go in your stomach. Yeah. Oh, buddy, oh, I felt sour. it travel down. Ooh, it's tart. <laughs> I, I felt like the one. journey it went on. This tastes like. <laughs> The country lemonade thing that you can get in it the does. giant, yeah. and it's powder, and you put it in water. You're right; it yeah. does taste like that. It's, it's like really it's at lemonade. every baby shower, every kid's party. Who owns um, that? Again, tastes nothing like Mountain Dew. Um, Lotus asked, "What Warhammer armies do Azeraphis and Beerbot play? Do they play 40k or Sigmar though?" Azeraphis is 100 oh, percent Slanesh. Absolutely, they absolutely play 40k. He, he they do definitely. Not play, we do not play Age of Sigmar. <laughs> Age of Sigma. Um, Azeraphis is, is definitely uh, uh, chaos. Definitely, um, definitely, probably, probably Slanesh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Stick paints yeah. the the minis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do all the painting. Yeah, poorly. Uh, Beerbot could be. Um, Beerbot is probably <laughs> no. He's probably an Ultramarines player. <laughs> oh. The most generic Space Marines ever. You didn't hear that if you like Ultramarines. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ultramarine fans scare me. <laughs> I, I, I could also see Azeraphis being Tyranids. Um, but I think he would, I think, I think, yeah, it'd be Ultramarines. <laughs> They're like the, we're good and loyal, like nice. Space Marines. They're yeah. blue and gold. Makes sense. The new Warhammer Space Marine game features an Ultramarine because they're the poster child Space Marine. Do, um, <laughs> did, did you cringe when I said Tyranids and you just ignored me? Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, Tyranids suck. <laughs> Sorry, I just knew that about you. What'd you, what'd you think of that, uh, what'd you think of that do, Craig? I think it's, honestly... I think I'm gonna give it a. I keep going up. I think I'm gonna give it a, like an eight. Me too. I think that one was about an eight. I yeah. also give that one an eight. It, it tastes nothing like Mountain Dew, but I it was pretty good. Love the old. Reminds spark. me of 
a baby spark. shower. <laughs> All right. The all spark. Do you want to ask a question really quick? Bumblebee. We need to get the Mountain Dew flavor, the all spark. I'm trying to figure out if the two, if the larger companies own the other companies. Yeah. Uh, no, but um, country fucking whatever it's called. The brand that owns country that, ta- yeah, whatever? country whatever is owned by um, Kraft and Heinz, which is a huge fucking right. conglomerate. Yeah, Kraft and Heinz, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. which uh, <laughs> owns a, a billion different things. Right. And one of them, it just says Orlando. <laughs> That's it. Just and it's, and it's black, so I can't even click on a link to go anywhere. It just says Orlando. <laughs> hmm. so Orlando they don't, themselves, the entire city of they, Orlando. But they don't own this is. Mountain Dew is a Pepsi product, right? No, they do not own Pepsi. Okay, well no. then. Just a it does seem strange they own Kool-Aid and Capri Sun. Oh. Okay, I got some rapid fire questions. I'd for say you. those were competitors. Yeah. I got some rapid fire ones. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought maybe they, I thought maybe they were like headquartered in Orlando. No, they're headquartered in Pittsburgh. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways. A uh, gun twirling mm. aficionado, which is Albert, Hello, Albert. asks. Uh, yeah. This arcane launch podcast question goes out to Colton. Who's your favorite Final Fantasy? Uh, what's your favorite Final Fantasy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who of the 14 is your favorite Final what's, Fantasy? What's, what's, uh, what's your favorite Final... Amazon. What you... oh. yeah. Jingly keys, sir. You're getting distracted. There's no, there's no recycling can, but there is Amazon today. Yeah. It's some things from our My favorite birthday. Final Fantasy. <laughs> this Arcane Lunch podcast question goes out to Colton. What's your favorite Final Fantasy? If you can go into detail, that'd be great. For the rest of the crew, based on Colton's review, on a scale of 1 to 10, how odd do you think Final Fantasy is? Oh. Attached is a picture, which is two characters I do not know. I know that one of them in the back is the character who goes, ha, 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 ha. Oh, and Titus. Yeah, it's Titus behind some dude. And it says, yeah, he's legally not my kid, but I'm emotionally responsible for him. Who's the, who, who the heck is that other character? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Uh, That's Handsome Jack. Uh, th- though, though, <laughs> <laughs> Handsome Jack. Though I, though I play a lot of Final Fantasy XIV, I do not play a lot of the other Final Fantasy games. Mm-hmm. I played through uh, Seven Remake, uh, Thirteen Part One, which a lot of people call like the worst Final Fantasy game. Mm. Um, I think that they're just upset that it isn't like all the other ones. Uh, and Sixteen. Um, but I, I think by virtue of hours played, it has to be Final Fantasy Four. 14. 14. Yeah. 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 I put so many hours into that game. Speaking of, a new a new uh, expansion is coming out mm, next cool. month. And because of that, uh, not only do you get the base game, the first expansion, or and the first expansion with the free trial, you also get the second expansion now. So and you I get, can like, get the Mountain Dew kinds. thing. And you can get the Mountain Dew thing. Yeah. The, I, I will have to say, I think I don't think Final Fantasy is very strange. I there's There's elements to them that I'm like, huh? But I feel like if I was into it, I'd get it. But I mean, God, uh, uh, hang on, I'm remembering their names. What's his name? No. Oh, Sephiroth. 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 Yeah. Sephiroth. Uh, uh, Sephiroth and Cloud are hot. So okay. that's true. Um, I think my favorite little fun fact about Final Fantasy games is that all of them, though none of them are linked, all of them are linked in a weird way. So, like for example, the gods are are not always the gods, but like. You have like Ifrit, who's like this like giant like like fire devil, and like Gerudo, who's like this wind demon s and stuff oh, like cool. that. But they th- they're in every game, but in every game they're slightly different. So in some games they're like the gods that you like worship, and then in some games they're like these things in, that are in stones that are mm. like essences you can take and you can become them. And then like some so like it's all linked in different ways. In Final Fantasy fourteen, they're like these. It, I think it's a cool idea. We should do this in D&D sometime. They're like gods that don't have form, but if enough people worship them in the same place at the same time, then they can gain form and, and show like up the, on like the it's material like the wild, plane. Isn't that a thing yeah. in D&D? Like the wild gods are like that? Uh, are some of them? Y- yeah, that was like a homebrew thing I came up oh. with. Yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. But yeah, so like that's, it's a it's a whole thing. Um, we should play Final Fantasy fourteen sometime. Yeah. It's not like WoW, where, <laughs> oh, we, yeah? where you started it. Here, here's why. Because... When, when we played WoW, I had to be like, Jacob, this doesn't matter. Like, just get to where you're high level. Final Fantasy XIV is the exact opposite. It is a story first, then it's a MMO. Nice. And uh, it is probably the best video game story I've ever played. Hell like, yeah, genuinely. That's cool. I should point out how lucky we were <laughs> in saying the subject matter of last episode. And the fact that Colin's oh, here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Colin's here oh, this the episode. The Final Fantasy episode is much... But the Do the Do Final yeah. Fantasy yeah. is it, much it, better it, than... It is, 
seven last days time. away what, from what Spencer's time? nightmare. They, t- they talked about no, League. I didn't even bring it up. They talked about the League. I can't it. lie to him. They talked about League for too long. We did talk about League of Legends for a while. And we were really happy that we are not. So I, I'm putting I it. No, no, no. I'm putting, putting it down now. We are not talking about this because I pledged. <laughs> Call Dad! Call Dad! For those that can't what see it, Colton say? just rubbed his hands like say? a villain. Go back to last episode. Of every moment I brought up Colton. I Wait, just first, want to point out first, one thing that I thought was cool first, that I want to bring up hey, to you. First, this is Mountain Dew Zero. Yeah, we, we Baja do this Blast Zero Why Sugar. Why are you Zero Baja Blast? Where, zero where Baja Blast? Be, because we're ending on, on the best oh, one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's just weird Baja. It's pretty good, though. I have yeah. a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> I'm going to give that a seven. I like it better than normal Baja Blast. That's wild. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's whack, my that's guy. That's a 10. Hello? Yeah, are you Okay. Away. She's upset that I said that. Oh, I was scooting yeah. away from him. Yeah, that's that's Look, weird. Look, they're both 10s, but like oh. one's like a 10.1. Ten, okay, I'll put that down. 10.1. <laughs> I'm going to break the scale. <laughs> so I, anyways. Hang on. I'm going to give my score. Sure. It's a 7. I also said 7. 8. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not It's not the best. Craig one time went to a con in, in an Udyr cosplay, and I thought that that wow. was cool. I did not know that you... Uh, he, he yeah, didn't. there's a lot of things he I would say. <laughs> His friend did, and he just it was a, it was along the ride. Yeah, gotcha. Played I also, it maybe a few times. I also I went I, I, to a, I, I, I played enough to put money into it, but not enough to where it was embarrassing. You want you mm. want to know like like core childhood memory for me when I was I don't know like seventeen, I guess hardly childhood at that point. But I went to a league con down yeah. in L.A. It yeah. was like a one night thing, and some of the Team Liquid players were there. And at the time, like I was really 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 into the game and yeah. i like bought like the team liquid jacket and stuff do you remember that i, like, I, I guess court. yeah i vividly and remember i this. went and when i went there they had i have the photo somewhere i'm sure but when i went there they had just like got new players um and the new players were there but they hadn't gotten their gear yet so when i showed up one of the guys he's still on twitch all the time i will dominate have you mm-hmm. heard of him no he's on he's on twitch still a lot uh one one person <laughs> said that he was he was what everyone thinks of when they think of a League of Legends player. And he was like, thanks, I'm just going to go die now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I think that's the worst thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> when someone's like, oh, I'll I'll I, show I, you clip I, after I, the I play League. And they're like, that makes sense. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, oh. But, but, oh. When I, but when I got there, he, he looked at me because I had the jacket on. And he turned to like the new guys. And he was like, dude, this guy's like more kitted out than you are. He should be on the team. And I thought that was really funny. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's so, awesome. yeah, I played way too much of that game. Um, yeah, I know. I said it. I got everyone into that game yeah. in the friend group. And we all played it for a little bit. And it was fun when we all yes, played you it. Did. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I played it yes, like two times. You did play like two matches. Okay, okay. We're done with League. We're, we're not doing it again. We cannot We cannot serve another League episode to, to our audience. Yeah, if we talk about audience. it for too the, long, the, we'll fucking look like League characters the, in the thumbnail. The, we can't do no, it. We no. can't do it. Please. <laughs> I, I, I apply for this one. The last, okay. the last thing I'll say is We're I still watch time. the Pro League, but I can't play the game anymore. <laughs> <We're> too- <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. I can't, I, can't, I can't play the game anymore, though. It's just not fun to play. At, at your benefit, Colton, I did say that you are, I think, uh, the least toxic league player. <laughs> not there, when I was 16 and started playing. Well, no one is when they're 16. Yeah. No, but you were, out of everybody I know, you're the least toxic league That's player. That's fair. Uh, right. Even though you main Yasuo. This is Baja Blast. Oh, Baja oh, Blast! My, I know, there are so yeah. many of you out May there who watch this. you the Blast. Keep, who keeps saying, what's your favorite flavor, and not Baja Blast. It's well, unfortunately, also... you're wrong, because... Yeah, it's fucking good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's sweet. It tastes a little bit like Mountain Dew. It has a subtle flavor that comes through at the end. The aftertaste is, is like, it's zesty, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's got a unique flavor profile to it. Mm-hmm. Slime. This one has a natural. But it's not too limey. Or a it's blast, like, rather. It's sweet. It's limey. It complements Mountain Dew flavor pretty well. It's it's light to me. It's not like it's not like the fucking... The spark flavor was good, but it was... I felt it going into my stomach, you know? Yeah. Like, that one That one hurt. It tastes like This doesn't taste like acid. So. It's especially if you get it in the Taco Bell cup with the ice. It's just a it's better really out of the fountain, refreshing yeah. drink. I was so say, Baja that blast. I think... A little ice that melts in it, waters it down a little bit, makes yes, it look very it's good. Even, makes it, it even better. It's less like heavy. It's just yeah, so it's good. Better. It's the, so good. The, the zero sugar Baja Blast is better because it's zero sugar. Mm. Like 
I think that they taste comparable enough that yes. I would rather have zero sugar Baja mm. Blast than sure. Normal Baja I just don't Blast. think you're you're getting more of that syrupy flavor to me with the with the zero because sure. they're trying to mimic the sugar, mm-hmm. but the yeah. whatever flavor they've put in this has has masked that syrupy flavor to uh, enough to mm-hmm. make it taste like it's it's a little lighter. So that's 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 the only con to me about that one. But yeah, Baja Blast gets a ten for sure. Yeah, ten. Ten. It's good. Is okay. that all of them? That's it. That's all, that's all that we have. That's every blast. That's every. That's every like, yeah. we, we've bought apparently all of our like blasts. Damn. Flavors or something. No, there's more than that. Yeah, when you let me, let me pull blast. up the. Wait, let's find our. Let's find the weirdest flavor we can find. Okay, we have. I saw blackout. That yeah. one's purple. Oh yeah, that one. Looks oh, quite weird. I, I have a really, I really have, I have a really funny story about that. There's so back uh, in I think 2022, 2021, whenever that flavor first came out. There was a rest. There was a, a wrestler who went by the fiend, and he like wore a mask, and he was like, his, the his, fiend. his whole shtick was that he was like like a devil essentially, or like a demon, and nice. he would like show up, and and like he would no sell everything because he was like supposed to be supernatural and stuff. <laughs> and his first feud was against L.A. Knight, mm-hmm. um, and they WWE had signed a sponsorship with Mountain Dew, so they had a Mountain Dew pitch black match, <laughs> and they turned all the lights off, and they were all in like neon gear and stuff. Whoa, <laughs> that's cool. Actually. That's, that's cool. cool. <laughs> Y'all want to give a guess when Mountain Dew came out? Two thousand five. No. What? Two thousand five. Ninety five. It better not be the year. <laughs> good it was good luck. No. Eighties. Good luck. Keep going. It was, like, it was like the twenties. Oh Probably. no, it's super old. Yeah, I forgot because there's the, that's my favorite Mountain Dew flavor is the original one with the cane sugar in it. It's so yum. I goddamn. What the heck is I don't know if you've ever had freeze. original Mountain Dew. No, no, no. I'll show you the no, logo. No, for a while they oh, they, they would make they make it, it with like, the real sugar. It is incredibly yeah. old. Yeah. Darth yeah. Dew. Darth. <laughs> Ew. Darth. Darth Ooh. Dew. I don't, I don't want Darth Let's Dew. See. He, he keep keeping his blood. Darth Dew. What's Darth Dew? I don't know. 1940. Yeah. The oh 40s. My Crazy. Yeah. It looks like this. Look. 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 Yeah. The throwback yeah. one. Oh, that I, one's cool. Looking. We actually. I actually. We. I've, I. I actually like this. It's really good. Hmm. Um. Apparently, Red Lobster used to have a Dewgarita. It was a margarita. <laughs> Ew! With Mountain Dew. Ew! That's horrible. <laughs> Dew Green. Mountain Dew Joji. You know Red Lobster? Did you, Joji? Did you hear there are a lot of Red Lobster? Yeah, I think, it's, I think yeah. it said Joji. Jo- Joji did a flavor with no. Mountain Dew. That's Kroger cool. apparently G-O-J-I. had an G-I. apple variant. Mountain Dew thrashed apple. Yeah. Point Break They also punch. have hard Mountain Dew. Okay. Berry Monsoon. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, well. There's a black cherry variant? Oh, he's got to find it. There's already a cherry <laughs> No, it's, but it's black cherry. I have a <laughs> headache now. They also used to have caffeine-free Mountain Dew. Uh, Apparently, they discontinued it. In 2014. It. Damn. Find it on... Find it somewhere. Okay. Well, Drink it and I love be that bad. we're reading the Wikipedia page for Mountain Dew. I just want to find the definition. I want Dang. to find... Darth Dew. I want to find Darth Dew. <laughs> was a limited production tangy grape slurpee flavor. Oh. It was available exclusively at 7-Eleven stores as part of a promotion for the wow. theatrical release of Star Wars Episode Three. Wow. Revenge of the Sith. Yep. Well, that, that 2005. Sense. Sense. Yeah. This is Anakin's flesh boiled into Mustafar flavor. And it's flavor. great flavor. For, for our sins. For... <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay. 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 Colton, you're making too many inside jokes. You, there, we've what do rec- you mean? We that recently is, watched... Um, that is any... <laughs> oh, I thought you were making a reference. I was making a, I was making a reference to, to communion, which is a, oh. a, a Christian thing. I thought you were referencing the Jenny Nicholson video we watched the other night with, I mean, the, with the church that does the plays. I mean... Which everybody should go watch. It's the funniest fucking thing. Didn't they do a Star Wars one? They, they did, did, but yeah. it would have been crazy if... It, 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 but it's but It's, it's Luke. Luke, yeah. But it's... it's it would have been crazy if it was Anakin. <laughs> Your new empire. Could you imagine? He's like, don't try it. <laughs> and he jumps. He's like, you underestimate my power. He jumps and he lands on the other side. And Obi-Wan cuts him in a perfect way to where he lands like this. And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still think my favorite one. He gives one the final blow by stabbing him in the stomach. I still think my favorite one is the Back to the Future one where he's holding onto the he's, clock it's tower. The clock and then he's like, oh. And he ends up like, Craig, we gotta watch it. No, Wait, have I've, you, not, have I've, you seen it? I've, I've seen it. It's already. amazing. Yeah. It's, I love it so much. I love um, it. Did you know they made one this year? Yeah. I, I said, know. I said oh my the, god. I what is it? What the fuck is it based on? I found the website. I found their I found their church website, but I can't find the video anywhere. What it the hell is it based on? It was it's Murder on the Jerusalem Express. <laughs> 
please, I want it. I want to watch That'd it. That'd be a very different yeah. <laughs> encounter. I, I yeah. found I found the sermon Actually, portion, very but different. I can't find the actual uh, skit. Damn. Oh. I next year we should go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, I, dude, I <laughs> dude, want to. tickets. Yeah. Are you kidding? I, I I opened the website. I was like, can we go? Can we go see it? I would I would fucking go. I would yeah. get asked about the other side of Canada. I know. I would get asked about it all the time. Yeah. Just start charging tickets. I wonder if they had yeah. a lot of people show up for, for Easter this year because of it. Yeah, or um, if, if they do like a do they do like a like a like a broadcast service type thing? They do. They oh. do. It was really weird for me because like I, I found the sermon and I was clicking through it to try to see if like maybe the skit was like in the middle or right. something. And wow, it is very like like southwestern or southeastern like evangelical yeah. style right, of church. Yeah. And yeah. like like it's been a while since I've been at a church where they're like, and the blood of God will be, and like that's their vibe. And I was like, oh wow, when, this is a when flashback the pastor, to when I was ten. Oh, okay. wait, wait, you yeah. tell me the person that crucified Tony Stark isn't completely unhinged? Yeah, <laughs> damn, he's crazy. <laughs> I'll well, be there. Well, see, <laughs> he's just up there I'm like so that. surprised. I I grew up in that type of church, so yeah. it was a little bit of a flashbang for me. <laughs> yeah. to, to... No, I think Pirates of the Galilean is the funniest <laughs> that one. Is funny. <laughs> that one is the funniest one. You, I wish you were there watching Colton be like his face, and then he went, he went. Don't you know uh, what what is his name? It was the, it was the he he who lives, lives by, by the sword, sword dies, dies by, by the, the sword. sword, and Colton went. He's a pirate. <laughs> 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 and then at the end, the end, the play, the pastor comes out. He says. You know, we're all just having fun making jokes, but, you know, those pirates can be a real problem on the coast of Somalia. <laughs> True, I guess. Goddamn, my guy. You know the uh, the the song, too, the Captain Jack song? The, <laughs> that's a real song. That's in Dance Dance Revolution. I know what song it was. I know Jenny didn't know I just want to but... say that it would be funny if, if Anakin landed... And then, and then he was crucified like this. He was like, Ugh. and then Obi Wan was looking at him. And he picks up his lightsaber and he says, and he just starts going. So lately, you're wondering. No, if it I be... could, then I would. No, no, no. It has to be. Uh, 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 wait, what was the song? Bring me to life. I mean, that's... <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> wake me up. We really are drinking Mountain Dew Code Red. Do you know what if Save it was? me from the dark. Like, what if it was? Oh. What if it was? You got two minutes left. It's all you got. Burning ring of fire. You got two minutes. All you all you can hold on to. I gotta go potty <laughs> house. Nothing could fire. prepare me for. Nothing could prepare me for the the Indiana Jones one with the Nazi singing Numa Numa. <laughs> that that Nazi be like Numa Numa. <laughs> You're like wow, this is strange as shit. What's that? <laughs> We got two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Hold two on. Two minutes. Okay. We got time for one more if you want to yeah. pop it off. Okay, let's let's speed round. You ready? <laughs> Colleen asks, "Hey, hey, Arcane Crew, what drink would you get on the Coca Cola Freestyle Machine?" This guy, you know. Oh. Um, oh yeah, yeah. My first job had me making my own concoctions on my downtime, and my coworkers said they were really good. Uh, we had one in our wing stop in town, and I loved making <laughs> vanilla lemon Coke. It was good. Yeah. Vanilla cherry is always my go-to flavor it's of anything. Good. Uh, Chocolate, right? Yeah. There was also orange Sprite. That one was good, too. Yeah, that one was good. Like, vanilla and, like, uh, Pepsi or Coke or yeah. um, Dr. Pepper. That was good. Yeah. My wife always does grape Powerade. Whoa. Pretty solid. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Good too. Pretty fucking solid. Yeah. Interesting. There's a... Uh... You know what upsets me about that thing? I know that Wingstop has one of those things, but if you, if you door dash, they're like, nah, you, you can You get have, whatever flavor. You yeah. get what... We, we're yeah. not... You can't even yeah, but... type, like... Please, yeah. please put vanilla in my Coke. So I, 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 I got DoorDash yesterday. I got uh-huh. Triangle, uh-huh. which uh, I didn't know delivers from Tulare. Oh. <laughs> so oh. I, I ordered it and then it showed the map and it was like the southern part of Tulare. I didn't even know and there was, was like, one there. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought there was one in the mall. So did I. That's why I thought I was ordering. We're in rapid fire. Oh. Roll for autism. Hashtag ceasefire now asks... Gonna start off strong with Reed and Palpatine voice. Do it, and I'll be expecting a counter for all the do it. That's uh, that that'll oh, follow. Thank you. Uh oh, we didn't do a single well, do it. Just, <laughs> no, we did it. Get it right now. Yep. Issue now. So in the Church of the Rock, they do they do the, the Rents of the Sith play. Yeah. Anakin gets crucified. Then when he comes out, they have a sponsored bit by Mountain Dew, and they go, <laughs> Anakin, you will rise from the tomb when you have this Mountain Dew it. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. He rises from the tomb, but he's he's rising as Darth Vader, and he says, 
he says it like the way that they do the Iron, Iron Man. He goes, I am Darth Vader. Oh. And then they jump. They I, dance the, they I da- am Darth Vader. Vader. And they dance the Footloose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, wait. Uh, no. Wait. Uh, Colton. Wait, we're at time, my guy. Go, we're at time? Go but Colton, what, okay, I'm go ahead, Colton. Are uh, you excited yeah, for more. Space Marine 2? Yeah, it's going to be good. We should play it, like, genuinely. It's I'm, it's going to be a lot of Cut fun. the cameras. Cut the cameras.